What is the best free screen recorder for Windows? There are a couple really great free screen recorders like OBS and Flashback Express. I did videos about them and you'll find the links in the description below. But there is another excellent free screen recorder called a PowerSoft Online Screen Recorder. This is how to get and use a PowerSoft Online Screen Recorder. Hi, Dennis Ray here. This is the a PowerSoft Online Screen Recorder site. I'll put a link in the description below. You start by clicking on the Start Recording bar. Do not click on the Download App bar because then you'll get their Pro version, which is not free like their online screen recorder is. When you hit this bar, it will prompt you to download a launcher app, which you need to install before using the screen recorder. Once installed, you go back to the site, hit start recording, and the app will start. Once it's started, you don't need to keep the browser running to use the screen recorder. On the site, if you scroll down, there's lots of information about uh, the screen recorder, about how to get it, how to start using it, uh, its different features, there's a, a user guide. Really nice, gives you a lot of information about the screen recorder. Let's look at the recorder. Uh, first thing we want to look at is settings because we want to make sure all the settings are exactly the way we want them because we don't want any surprises once we make a recording. So in settings, uh, first we'll look at the general tab. Here is shortcuts and you can change these uh, if you just make your selection and once you've done that you can check or uncheck these change them as you want or you can hit the down arrow for the completion of the shortcut rather nice. Then below that there's the default output directory and in this you can select where you want your completed video to be saved. <clears throat> you can save it either on your computer, upload it to social media, or you can uh, save it to a cloud. And this is how you can select where you want the video to be saved if you want to save it on your computer. <clears throat> Then the recording tab, there's the basic settings, show content for recording, good. Beep on, record, uh, on start recording, eh, we don't need that. Show recording boundary, yeah that's cool. Show recording toolbar, so if this uh, is selected then the toolbar stays in the recording, otherwise it's going to minimize to your taskbar on your desktop. Include cursor in capture. Yeah, we might want that at times, maybe not. Then down to video format. Uh, you can hit the down arrow, maker selections, MP4, or any of these others below that. Advanced uh, mouse styles. You can either show hotspot or hide, hide hotspot. The, or rather the halo around the cursor. You can make your selections for the <clears throat> colors of the clicks in the hotspot. And here if you hit like for left click it will show red but if you click that you can change the color if you want to. Same thing with right click. Blue is the default, but you can change that. The mouse hotspot, yellow is default, but there again, you can change the color. 
and you can change the hotspot size uh, if you watch this square and then move this slider up and down you can change the size of the halo or the hotspot default is 20. one thing it does not have uh, it doesn't have it opaque so it's probably better to leave it at 20 or at least for me it is you make your own choice there audio quality can be low standard high standard is the default and then you can select where you want the sound to come from if you want it to be default speaker well you can just see what works for you on your computer if it were a default works just fine it does take the sound from my speaker if that's what I select it to do when I record and microphone you can select which microphone you want to be used when you record and default works just fine for me well, okay video settings the bit rate uh, default is automatic but you can change that if you want to uh, 2000 or 3000 or automatic seems to work just fine frame rate automatic default and this you can change to uh, say if you want 30 which would be good or um, you can change this to 60 it doesn't show it in the menu below but you just type it in and there it is but I'll leave my automatic that seems to work just fine codec H264 is a default can change that if you want to H264 is pretty pretty standard yep. mode uh, you can select either performance priority quality priority or balance and balance is the default so in those the defaults work just fine for me you can make your own selection see what works with your computer okay those are the settings now before we do a recording let's look at the toolbar uh, there's a record button of course and then you can select if you want to have a full screen recording or select a region right now it's on full screen if you hit region you can select what part of the screen you want to record or you can hit the down arrow and make your selections there custom size or select region okay back to full screen system sound if you want to record your system sound uh, sounds coming from your computer or from microphone or both here you can select if you want the webcam to be up and running and have picture in picture where the webcam will be down in the right corner you have your selection of cameras then there's the account uh, button if you have an account with a PowerSoft uh, site then you can log in here I really don't see the advantages of this unless you want to upload videos to your account in the cloud on their site and then there's the three buttons for the settings and we'll hit the recorder button so you can see what it looks like when it starts recording let's try a sample video so we have it running now I have the webcam camera on uh, you can move this around in the screen wherever you want to have it a really nice feature now in settings I turned on the 
setting to be able to have the toolbar visible on the screen while you're recording. And in this, there is this pencil icon. If you hit that, it brings up the different annotation tools that you have at your disposal. Uh, a square, circle, pointers, lines, brush, pencil, make it text box. And then uh, you can have these small circles that you can put in your video, change colors of your tools. Also a very nice feature. A PowerSoft online screen recorder is a very impressive screen recorder. Uh, it doesn't use much of your computer resources. It has many features that some paid commercial recorders have and it's easy to use. Um, then there are a couple other very impressive screen recorders I did videos about. If you go to my channel on YouTube, there's this video about OBS, which, uh, like I said, is also a very impressive screen recorder. It's a little hard to set up, but in my video, I try to show how to set it up, making it easy to use after it's set up. There's also this one about Flashback Express, also another excellent screen recorder. Uh, it does use more computer resources than a PowerSoft screen recorder does, but it is easy to use. So check those out and uh, I'll put some links for these videos in the description below. What is the best free screen recorder for Windows? I prefer a PowerSoft online screen recorder, but you may like another, like OBS or Flashback Express. It's actually just a matter of personal taste. Thank you for watching. If you found this video to be of value, please comment and like below. Subscribe, hit the bell to be notified of new videos. See ya.